Hello, Crafty Cuties. Welcome back to Paper Terrace. Today we are going to finish this little vintage sewing journal. And I have actually started a couple more. I thought I would just show you. Having so much fun using up my pattern, finally. I'm gonna set those to the side, but I just wanted to show you. And I don't remember what my original plan was with this because I don't know about you guys, but I start a project, I move on to something else, and then like months later, I come back to it. So anyways, we are here, we're going to finish. Um, so in the last video, we made the cover and then I think we put these papers together in that video, I probably should have looked. So it's all very simple, but I kind of wanted to add some embellishments and maybe some pages from this um, because it's for quilting and applique and it looked like there were some pages that might look kind of cute and go along with it. Oh, this one especially. So I'm gonna pull that out. <clears throat> and I made some ruffles, um, right like these. I made those in another video. That one should be up. If it's not up, it will be coming soon because I want to use some of those in here. I'm just gonna fold this and we'll see what size this might be. And then we will go ahead and bind this and finish up. Pretty, yeah, this is really pretty. In fact, I think I'll have this be the first page. Just like that. And then I have some other pretty little embellishments that I kind of set aside that I want to use. Ooh, this would be a cute little bag. Probably one of these little envelopes. Yeah, let's just go ahead and we will kind of get started putting all of this together. Okay, so I do think that I want to add some lace as well. Okay, not feeling that one. Let me grab my little lace organizer. I have laces in here, so I'm going to be pulling from that over here. Um, I'm gonna grab one that's this width right here. Yeah, I think this would be really nice on the first page here. So I'm always thinking about what I want the first page to look like in a journal. And so I kind of want this to be like a little tab is what I was thinking. Yeah, we'll go like that. Um, we are going to head to the sewing machine at some point, but I'm gonna try to prep as much as I can over here. And then a little bit of that lace should peek out. So we'll put this down here and then this can be a little tuck spot as well. Yeah. So I'm going to staple this on. But like I said, when I go to the sewing machine, I will likely sew over this just to hold it in place right now. And then I might actually put this cute little envelope on the first page like that. Um, actually, let me look through and see if there are some like more uh, appliques. That might be really fun to use in here. Okay, I did push you back a little bit so that you could kind of see what I was pulling from. Ooh, I know that I want to use this lace, so while I'm looking for an applique, I'll just cut out a few laces. And I got these laces and appliques. Um, <clears throat> and I did a full unboxing. Let's see, this one might be really pretty. Ooh, that would be pretty. Let's pull that out and we'll use it on one of the pages that doesn't have too much going on. Okay, let's start with that. Oh, the laces, they came from Neri, Neri's Laces. 
I don't even think I finished saying that. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of turn this and like I said, I just kind of want to place everything where I want it before we head to the sewing machine. I think on this page, I'm going to add a ruffle. I'll use this one. I'm just going to glue on the washi tape side here. There, like that. I'm not going to add too many embellishments to this journal, but we have a white page here, so I definitely want to add something here. Might be a good spot for this. Um, <clears throat> I also have this little needle book printable. I'm gonna set that there. I'm trying to think if I have any colored laces. Yes, I do. That might be, ooh, actually, yes. Okay. I think I wanna add this to this page since the whole page is white. I'm trying to keep my laces organized, so I am trying to actually put them back after I use them. Ooh, yes, okay. And then I think I'll stick this, that'll be like a little side pocket. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this here. I'm doing this a little bit differently than I normally decorate, but we're just gonna go with it. Okay, I'm gonna use one of these layered doilies um, these were something that I put in my Patreon packs for January, and I think that'll look really cute like that. <clears throat> I also think that these little spools will be cute as a tab, so I'm going to just place like this, and I am just going to staple that one on. So... Since we have a little decoration on that page, I'm just going to turn. Ooh, this actually looks perfect right here. And I'm going to just glue this on. It's gonna be a little side pocket. And I'm going to decorate the other journals very similar to this. So in case you are kind of wondering what those will look like. Okay, let's see. Let's turn the page and then Actually, maybe this would look cute here. Yep. So I'm going to just kind of pull it, put it in this spot. We're going to turn it because we're going to sew this on. More white space. What the heck? Well, I have this little frame. I also have a bunch of scraps that I have down in my little bin. <clears throat> I have a few bits and pieces. Oh, this might be cute. Okay. Maybe I can make this a little side pocket. So I'm going to try my best to just add glue on the very edges. And I'll probably end up sewing this on as well. Okay, just like that. Alright, then, like I said, I'm thinking I'll put this in as a little Rolodex pull out. But this could be replaced with like an actual picture, and that would be really cute. What else do I have in this little box? Okay, so I do have some faux rice paper. That might be fun to create a little pocket here. And I think I'm going to layer up some of the rice paper. In fact, I'm just going to rip, oh, just going to rip some kind of collage it on. I think I'm going to put it on the back like that. And I 
then it might be cute to add some lace. Okay, ooh, this one's really pretty. And cut it off like that. Okay, so I wanna sew this on the top and then sew this pocket on. Whoops, we'll bring it up a bit. Sometimes I just like working standing up, so that's why I, today I'm just really wanting to get all of this prepared over here on my table. <clears throat> this was from packaging, but I thought it was really cute, and it will obviously go really well with this. And especially on this page, I really like how the colors kind of go out like that. So we have wallpaper. Um, let's see here. Maybe now would be a good time to add in the applique. Yeah. And I'm going to trim off a little bit here. But I'm actually going to keep this little snippet of the applique. Maybe for a tab on another page. Okay. And we have a pocket here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and place that little sewn card in the pocket. We also have some little collaged policy envelopes. Hmm. So I think I'm gonna leave that just like that. I know we have some white space coming up. I think this I'm just gonna clip on <clears throat> with maybe a little paper clip or some kind of, actually maybe we'll go with one of these. I like having little clips peek out sometimes. And then I also, okay. Um, We'll go ahead and add this, like I said, as kind of like a little tab. Just gonna staple that in place again. Okay, now we have some white space again. And I'm thinking I will take, I have the this wallpaper. This is a scrap, but maybe I can do like a little torn pocket. See if that's wide enough. Yes, it will be. At least for the center there. So I am going to sew that on. And I have these little button flowers. That might be cute to add on, although I think I like the green color a lot better. Yes, totally. Okay, so there's that. And let's see. I'm not sure how I'll add that. I might wait or put it in the center. And I think I want to add some Hmm. No, I don't, that clashes, so I don't like that, but maybe some white lace or, ooh, will this color work? I do like that. So a lot of times when I'm adding lace to my journals, I kind of just have a pile next to me while I'm set up at the sewing machine, just kind of grab and randomly pick. But with this, these vintage sewing journals, I did really want to put a lot more effort into choosing the colors and the placement. Okay, I think I skipped a page, but that was just sewing, or sorry, that was just music paper. I think I'm just gonna leave that. And let's see. Let me skip to this page right here, since we have a white page. Ooh. 
these playing cards actually. That would be kind of cute. Although maybe I can do something kind of creative. Let me see, how many do I have? I'm gonna take three and I'm going to do some kind of design. Like kind of off the edge, just a little bit though. And I want them to be kind of not straight on here. <gasps> That's kind of fun. But I want something on the background as well. Maybe from, actually from this book will look good. Oh yeah, this. Just the square. And we'll turn it into a little pocket. Okay. This is honestly a lot more fun than I was thinking it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be like any other journal decorating, but I do feel like I am getting to use a lot more of my creativeness since it's themed. All right, we'll just keep the flowers down there. And I'll probably sew this onto the page, I think. And like maybe probably keep it open on the top to be like a little pocket. Okay, so I'm just going to try to put those there. And then we are to the back side. Okay, I think what I have started is more than enough to head over to the sewing machine. So I'll see you over there. Okay, I did grab a couple of additional things. Just one of these pages from the pattern and then an extra piece of lace that I'll probably want to add somewhere in the back. Okay, so. What I'm going to do is basically just start with the first page of this signature and go through and see what needs to be sewn on. So because it wraps around, I'm just gonna carefully take the rest out. And so for this section, it's just this page. Ooh, I do have red thread in. Is that what I want? I'm gonna keep it. I think it's been really fun actually. I'm going to do a zigzag stitch. And then I'll go around so that we can keep that little snippet or that, yeah, that little die cut as a pocket. I'm going to sew all the way across. I do want there to be a lot of sewing detail in this journal. So I'm going to actually change the stitch to one of my favorite stitches. And then I'm just gonna sew all the way down. Going to add that blue lace that I grabbed. I'm actually going to add it to this page. By the way, I can't exactly see what I'm filming right now, so I was trying to make sure that you could actually see what I was doing. It's kind of the best view that I have. And I know it's going to be loud with the sewing, but I wanted to at least give you a little preview of what I'm doing as I'm putting all of these decorations um, on here. So I'm not going to take you through the entire signature just because it's going to just be a lot of the same thing over and over. Okay, we'll place that back in the pocket and I'm just going to set this over here, which I realize you can't see, just kind of open so I can keep placing in the next pages. Okay, so let's open this up. That was going over there. Okay, oh, we have our fun page to work on. so. I'm going to at least do that with you before um, before I turn the camera off. Okay, I'm also going to take this page now. I'm going to trim it down a little bit on the edge. And I'm going to sew this on. I don't really like this polka dot fabric or this polka dot paper here. So I'm going to fold it. Now 
I'm gonna sew all the way around using the zigzag stitch. And I'm gonna keep the top open. That will serve as a little pocket. I kind of want to take some fabric scraps. I must have something around here. Yes, I do. And I'm just going to take what I have. Some muslin. This is usually how this part goes. I'll think of things as I'm sewing things on. I do this down here like that and keep that little just like that. I want to make sure you can see this okay. So I'm just going to bring you back. Well, first of all, real quick, I'm going to take <laughs> this. I'm going to glue this little bag on so we have something kind of fun on that page. And since I have that sewing border from the other page, I'm just going to put this right in the middle. And I think that looks kind of fun. for it over here. Um, I'm going to take my punch that is scallop circle, punch out half so that you will know it's a little tab. And again, I'm gonna see what kind of sewing or what kind of fabric scraps I can find. Here we go. I found something good. I have a little scrap bin um, up there. And I think I just want to make a little, let's see, we're going to have the cards. So maybe I don't need anything. Okay, let's go ahead and just sew this pocket on first all the way around. Just going to go back to a regular stitch. might be nice to have some lace at least peeking through therefore I'm going to grab some so I grabbed a wide lace so that it will actually peek through and then for this part figure out like I said I kind of want them to just be kind of fun and playful so I'm going to just add a little dab of glue to hold it in place. I don't want it peeking out too much on the pages. I just want it to be kind of like a tab. And that last one. Okay, now I'm just going to kind of hold all that in place. Bring it up to the sewing machine. And I think I will do um, a cute little swirly stitch. I shouldn't have added glue because this could be a little tuck spot however it still might work as that 
Okay, so now that you've kind of seen how I go about this process for decorating and sewing as I'm finishing these sig signatures, I'm gonna turn the camera off, continue on, and then we'll head back to the table where we can We're back over here. Everything is decorated. I am gonna do a flip through at the end. I'm just gonna make you wait a few minutes longer, but I'm so excited with how this is turning out. Okay, we have the cover. I wanna make sure I may want to add some buttons to the cover. Um, let's just place a few on and see what that might look like. I don't want them to be too bulky if I am going to add some. So maybe some smaller ones. Ooh, I kind of like how those look just because it's they are super vintage looking, although maybe that. Anytime I add two, I always want like a third little trio. I just like how it looks best. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so we're going to sew those on really quick. In fact, maybe should I put a little snippet of lace underneath? I think um, maybe kind of sideways like that. Okay, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to add a little bit of glue to this one first and I'm just going to let these sew, hold down the lace. Okay. I'm just going to sew them on with needle and thread and then we can bind this. The decorating part did take me a little bit longer than expected but that's because I got a little sidetracked and got excited decorating but that's okay because I'm super happy with it all right yep we're just gonna sew these on just make sure I have the placement I want and then I'm gonna poke a little hole like this and yes we're poking through our pocket but that's okay because it's just at the top a knot and I'll probably put I don't know some washi tape or something over the stitching on the inside but I'm not really worried about it this is a pretty thick thread so these sh so this will hold all these buttons on really good Okay, so as you can see, I'm just gonna sew these on with this needle and thread. Let me sew the other two on and then we'll get to binding. We have the buttons on. So on the inside, I am going to, first of all, I'm going to take some washi tape. I'm going to cover up the stitching. It's not very pretty. And that's going to secure a little bit better as well. And then I'm just gonna cover that with like, I have this little die cut that I thought would go really well. And actually that looks super cute. So I'm just going to glue that on. All right, just kind of like that. Okay. So now that I have my signatures, just how I want it, I'm going to make sure to place everything in here neat and tidy. And I'm just going to kind of flip through quickly to make sure everything is in place, like especially tissue paper or vellum papers kind of shift. And then we'll use some paper clips to hold everything together nice and snug. And then this envelope I want kind of in the middle there. Okay. I'm just kind of holding everything tight with one hand. I am reaching over here with the other for some paper clips and I don't have any. Okay, so I'm gonna place one on the top, one on the bottom. And then one over on this side. So we'll just hold everything in place. 
Okay. Then we'll take our needle and I'm going to use this wax linen thread and I'm just going to measure this out. I'm doing three times the height of the journal. And then we will thread this. Now I am going to use an awl to pre-punch the holes because we are actually going through a lot of layers in this journal. And so otherwise I might just go through with the needle. Okay. Now I'm gonna just kind of eyeball this and I'm gonna place a hole in the center. I'm doing a five hole pamphlet stitch on this one. I do really like doing a five hole because I feel like the tension just kind of gets distributed a little bit more evenly. So I do the center, I do about in, in one and a half inches up and then one and a half inches up again. Same thing going this way. Okay, now we will take our thread and needle and I am going to sew through the center hole. This part should be really easy since we have the holes pre-punched. I'm just gonna leave a tail on the inside making sure not to pull that out. And then I'm gonna go up to the next hole and I can see that you might not see it on camera, but I can. So I'm just gonna go through and hope that everything's lined up that it will just go right in. If it doesn't, just be patient and work that through. Going through. Then I'm going to go out to the top, making sure that it's not getting a drug on anything or attached on anything on the inside or outside. Now I'm going to go back down to the next hole. So we already came out that side, but we're going to go back in, making sure not to sew through this current thread that's already there. Otherwise things get real messy. Then we're gonna skip the middle hole and we're gonna go back to the next open hole down here. So out. Again, I'm just making sure this isn't getting um, stuck on anything. Okay. Now we're gonna go down to the bottom hole and sorry, I'm bringing this close to my eyes so I can see where it is. There it is. And into the inside. There we go. Okay, then instead of being done here, we're going out the hole that's right above it. So just like that. We're kind of weaving in and out. You can think of it like that if you're having a hard time grasping this idea. Then Then we're gonna, since we're weaving, we're gonna go right back up to the next available hole, which is the center hole where we started. Again, try really careful that you're not sewing into the thread that's already there. I've done it before and you can get it tight, but it just makes it a lot trickier. Okay, then you wanna make one of the ends be on one side of the center thread and one on the other so that you can tie that off really tight and it won't go back through. Okay, we can trim these edges. Oops, my dog is barking. Trim the edges. We can take our paper clips off. I'm gonna give you a final flip through I'm also going to take this envelope flap and attach it right here. And so that I don't forget, I'll actually take my scissors and I'm gonna cut at the top, kind of at an angle, making sure I'm only cutting through the envelope. And then we'll have a top loading pocket 
and it also hides the center threads which I don't mind but I also think it's really neat and clean looking as well okay Ooh, this is so fun okay so here we go I know there's a glare and I'm probably going to tie some lace around this as a closure. So we have a nice little side pocket here. We have this little tuck spot. We have a pocket up here. I'm probably going to put some things in these pockets as well. We have a ruffle. I did forget when I was showing you this page, I forgot that I had this lace that I want to do a side pocket for. So I actually just put it down here and then we end up with, you know, this pocket, but now we have a fun little lace pocket as well. I'll just keep that right there. Some fun paper here, a little bag. I added some little tabs in some of the places. We have a tuck spot. We have this little frame with a little Rolodex note card. We have our little collage pocket. A little tuck spot right here if we wanted. Some lace or this little applique lace. I added a lace pocket in here. Lots of pockets, but that's what will make this journal really fun. I added this little snippet and this little wax seal. Hopefully you can see the little spool of thread. This is a fun little area. A pocket and a little tab. This little clipped on collage policy envelope wallpaper. I love the detail here. Here's a little wallpaper pocket. I might go through and do some stamping as well because I do have a vintage sewing stamp set that I kind of forgot about until right now. We have this really fun pocket but I just love how that turned out. Nice and the back. So I hope that you guys loved seeing the rest of this journal come together. I love how it turned out and I can't wait to finish the others. So stay tuned on my website or here on YouTube. I will do a video when these are all done and ready for you. Okay guys, have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.